All right, so a couple of days ago, I posted a video about Bald.DIY and how to set up and you know install it locally on your machine. And for starters, Bald.DIY is like an open source version of Bald.new where you can bring your own API key and use Bald for free. And now the Bald.new starts at around, I guess, $20 per month. Uh, on the other hand, if you have an API key, you can go ahead and start using Bolt.diy completely for free. And today in this video, I'm going to put Bolt.diy and Bolt.new into test to see which one is actually better. So if you're planning to use Bolt and if you're confused as to should you be paying for Bolt.new or should you get your OpenAI API key and start using Bolt.diy. And trust me, the results are shocking. Without wasting any further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is Bolt.diy and this is Bolt.new. So if you don't already have Bolt.diy set up on your computer, you can click the i button above or the link in the description and follow the tutorial video that I created earlier and you can go ahead and set up and install Bolt.diy locally. And once you open it up for the first time, this is going to be the interface that you'll see. So if you click on this drop down menu, you'll be able to select the specific model that you want to use. So you have a couple of options like Anthropic, DeepSea, Google, OpenAI, Perplexity and etc etc. And let's say if you want to use uh, Anthropic cloud 3.5 sonnet you can select this anthropic as the provider and select cloud 3.5 sonnet new old haiku opus etc and in this context i'm going to use the open ai one so i'll select open ai and keep it as gpt 40 and the next thing that i'm going to do is to add my open ai api key so all i got to do is to grab my open ai api key and i can click on this pencil icon paste my key and click on the option and this way i have set up my open ai api key and bolt.diy is ready to fly and similarly in bolt.new you can right away create an account and start using it and the, they offer a free account with around i guess 1 million tokens with a per day limit as well so yeah you can go ahead and sign up and start using bolt.new and today we are going to first try to build a simple application like let's say a simple to-do app and after that we'll try to build a complex one and again we are going to use the free version of bolt.new because obviously people who don't want to pay for bolt.new is going to use bolt.diy and to make it fair i'm using bolt.new free version and, and also open ai api key in bolt.diy so i'll go ahead and say create a simple to-do app website and i can hit okay let me copy this one and hit enter and similarly i'll paste the exact same prompt in bolt.new as well so it says create a simple to-do app and let's wait so okay bolt.diy has started writing the code and bolt.new as well so let's wait till it is done all right so bolt.new is done writing the code and this is the to-do app that it has created so i can just go ahead and add one task let's say task one hit add and task two hit add so i can mark it as completed oh when i click on this option we get a tick mark in here indicating that the task is completed and i can also hit okay i can also delete it as well now pretty much every feature is working in bolt.new in a single prompt and if i head back to bolt.diy here also we have a to-do app let's say one add two add okay remove okay i don't have the option to mark it as completed so i can go ahead and say add an option to mark the task as completed and also give the website a better ui with some colors and gradients because this one looks too basic so let's just go ahead and send this one and heading back to bolt.new this pretty much works and everything is good to go and now coming back to bolt.diy let's wait for it to load the result all right, so bolt.diy has updated the code and this is what it looks like for now. Let's just go ahead and add task one, click on add, task two and hit add. And I still don't find an option to mark it as completed, but I can see the pointer changes. So if I click on this one, okay. So if you tap on that particular task, it gets marked as completed and I can remove it as well. Uh, even now the UI of the website sucks big time and it does not really look good. And bolt.new, this is what it has generated. So the basic to-do app that we tried to develop has, I mean, both of the functionality works in both DIY and bolt.new, but the UI is far way better when it comes to, let's say, bolt.new. And next up, let's just go ahead and try to design a landing page. So I'll open up a new chat on both of it. So let's just go ahead and say, start new chat. So I'll go ahead and say, create a stunning looking landing page for my web development agency named 
astrotech okay and now i'll copy the exact same prompt and send it on bald.diy as well let's hit enter and let's wait so it's going to use okay it's it will create a simple html css and javascript to build a modern responsive design so let's wait so let's see what both of these platform gives us all right so bald.new is done writing the code and let me put the result in full screen and this is what it has developed for us so we have a nice hero section a nav bar nice colors an icon here and if i scroll down we have a couple of cards in here featured projects ooh, nice animations and zoom in effects the gradient effects and yeah dummy images okay so we have some images in here all right so this is the basic version that bolt dot new has created for us it looks good and this is what bolt.diy has created for us i mean seriously bro this one it's just a plain simple you know i don't even know what to say to be honest uh yeah it's too basic i'll go ahead and say can you style it better using tailwind let's say i mean this is not good man this is seriously not good so let me just go ahead and see if i can make it a bit more better and again the bold dot new one is actually good i mean if you want to you can go ahead and give further prompts and refine it and make it even better is what i guess and one thing that i've noticed uh, using bold.diy and new quite extensively for the past few weeks is that bold.diy sucks big time when it comes to ui the ui of the app it generates is terrible to be honest and it does not really look at good at all and i don't even know what to say to this we <laughs> the all the styles that we had is gone as well uh okay maybe maybe i can just copy this one start a new chat and let's say design the website in react and use tailwind for styling maybe this will do a good job i guess so let's wait so in the earlier one they were using html css and javascript to create that one so let me go ahead and try uh, building the exact same landing page in react and hopefully this time it might you know look better so let's see so okay so let me just close this one right here and i'll wait for bolt.diy to complete coding the same all right so bolt.diy has coded as <laughs> what is this bro um i'm totally done with bolt.diy so even before starting to record this video i tried multiple prompt with bolt.diy with the gpt 4 model selected and pretty much all the results it gave me is absolutely terrible and maybe i can go ahead and change the ai model maybe i can try let's say google and put it as gemini 1.5 flash and we'll go ahead and grab my api key real quick maybe selecting a different ai model will fix the problem i guess so let me go ahead and paste it up in here okay so i'll do one thing i'll go ahead and copy the exact same prompt create a new thread and this time around i'll select google gemini 1.5 flash or maybe let's say 2.0 flash and i can click on the send button and hopefully this will work this time maybe it's an issue with uh, openai gpt 4.0 model let's see let's wait Ooh, it's creating multiple components right now i guess it's going to be a bit better is what i guess so let's wait okay so seriously oh, oh my god uh, let's say the website does not have any styles hit enter hmm okay so it didn't do the tailwind css configuration correctly and that's the reason why it isn't working and it is rewriting the code and it will ensure to fix the tailwind.config.js file and hopefully everything will work now and it's still the same i'm totally done with bolt.diy to be honest and i'm just moving over and next up i'm trying to build a trello like application using both of these platform with kanban boards and stuff and i really don't have any hopes for bolt.diy any which ways let me open bolt.new so, so this is the prompt i'll give so it says build a website like trello with kanban boards where users can create board add task and drag and drop it between boards i can hit enter and i'll give the exact same thing in bolt.diy and i'll select open ai gpt is gpt4 better than 4.0 let's try send because gpt4.0 did a terrible job and it says there was an error processing your request okay so gpt 40 isn't working for some weird reasons so i'll stick to gpt 40 i guess click on send and let's wait 
okay so hopefully at least this works this time so yeah let's just wait for it to be completed all right so this right here is what bolt.new has coded for us so it says kanban board we have a couple of bots in here an option to add a board and also add task so let me go ahead and say add task task one let's say blah 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 add and here you can see the task and now let's see if the drag and drop functionality works so i can drag and drop it in here and yes it works this way yeah it works and you can click on the add board option and let's say new board click on add and here we have the new board and i can drag and drop it in here now the styling looks a bit off it does not really look good but that's not the point the at least the website is functional okay so we have a kanban board and we are able to move this around and maybe i can add a new task let's say task 2 add and there you have it oops okay it works and now let's just go to bolt.diy and okay <sighs> dude i'm 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 totally done with bolt.diy to be honest we don't even have the option to add any new task multiple boards or even move between boards i'm not even sure we can drag it no we can't i can't find the option to add new task or board or even drag and drop let's see let's go ahead and send the message and see what it comes up with so it says let's enhance the kanban board by adding functionality to create new task boards and ensure the drag and drop feature is working correctly so let's just wait for it to be completed so yeah i'll see you afterwards so bold.diy is still writing the code and meanwhile i'll go to bold.new and we'll try to style it better so let me go ahead and say style the app in a modern way with some colors gradients and also make website layout look good and responsive okay colors and hit enter and let's see and now what's bolt.diy up to okay so it says everything is done let's go to the preview and now it says no preview available why is it so okay uh seems like the project is not running so npm run dev hit enter mm, let's see okay um the styling I, I don't even know what's wrong with bolt.diy at least let's try to create a new board i mean at least the board fun creation functionality is working and let's just go ahead and add a new task mm, okay so i'm able to add some task but not drag and drop oh okay i can drag it but it doesn't really work I'm totally done with bolt.diy. I'm not even going to try to give it any further prompts. This thing sucks big time to be honest and it doesn't really work the way it is intended to and I can totally say with confidence at least for now bolt.diy is not at all a replacement for bolt.new. I'm not sure why but bolt.new is miles ahead of bolt.diy and here we have a nicely formatted nicely styled app and this is what bolt.new has created for us cool animations uh colors and all that uh task let's say blah 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 stuff oh we have this icon i can move things around you see nice blur effect and all that i mean we do have some bugs in here but yeah things work so as you saw this is how different the bolt.diy version and the bolt.new actually is and even before creating this video i did know for a fact that bolt.diy kind of sucks because i've been playing with it for last couple of days and it has been terrible i mean even if i tried to create a simple web app using the platform it did not really get anything correctly and i was trying to build some next.js complex applications and in fact even before recording this video i went ahead and recorded another video and i tried to create an app using next.js using bolt.diy and bolt.new and bolt.diy sucked big time so if you are planning to let's say access bolt and if you're confused between bolt.diy and bolt.new the answer is bolt.new at least for now bolt.diy i mean you will hate coding with ai if you try to use bolt.diy for now and i created a video about bolt.diy a couple days ago and in that one i was in a hurry and i only coded a simple to-do app and it did work but yeah 
So Bolt.DIY is not at all a replacement for Bolt.new and Bolt.new is miles ahead and it even has an option to connect to Superbase and you know add a backend functionality and all that. So finally that's the verdict. Bolt.DIY is not a replacement for Bolt.new and you're better off with Bolt.new is what I guess. So yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next one.